Hello there, this is Player2 with Hidden Level, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft The Ribbon Chronicles. Now, before I get started, I just wanted to kind of explain this loading screen. These two characters are from the Order of the Stone, and this guy on the left, he is called Magnus, and he is like the Destructo guy, he likes to blow stuff up, and the girl on the right is Eligard, and she's an engineer, so she likes to put things back together. And last, last time I played, let's see, I decided to go with Olivia to go find Eligard, and I left Axel alone with Lucas, and they're back in like their fort thingy and kind of staying put, hopefully avoiding that big ol' wither that's coming along. So let's just get started and see what kind of adventures I'm going on with Olivia. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Cool. She's having fun. The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive. It's crazy. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! <gasps> oh, it's... I don't remember what it's called. It's the... It's a white creepy thing. <laughs> with red creepy eyes. Oh! Great! More gas! Gas! That's the name. The mine carts. Do something about the gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? That's uh, the fishing lure. What? Seriously, fishing? <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> Oh, that is going to not be right. Can I change my weapon? Got it. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting it with the fishing lure. That's so crazy. Eat. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I am just most excited because you guys notice Ruben doesn't have a black eye anymore. I'm so, so, so I happy. For a second, but, but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. I know. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Why not? 
This group is like all smiles. Nothing can go wrong. It's gonna be so wonderful. And I got an achievement. Minecraft story mode. They should be changing that to Minecraft The Ruin Chronicles. I loved how that bridge just got put together automatically like that. Oh, what's that? That kind of looks like lava. This intro title screen got here a Nova lot. Prestonia. I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. I was gonna say the tablet screen got here a lot quicker than episode one. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Let's run up the stairs. Oh, the stairs are disappearing. Oh, that oh, didn't work. Crap. Ruben was too smart to try that. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Uh, he seems kind of I mean, nice. I'm no Eligard, but I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message, please? No, I'm afraid not. Aww. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Hey, that'll make him believe it's Gabriel's me. Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Sure. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure, that would be great. If it gets us to Eligard, then that's all that matters. Oh, if what's I'm not mistaken, that should go oh. right to Eligard's private office. Oh, that's cool. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. Ah, no. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which, I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Okay, was that the right thing to do? He just threw it in some kind of river, and oh, I hope it gets to her. Oh my gosh. What if, what if I just threw away this really, really important artifact? <gasps> Okay, no time to go back. Let's just check out everything in this area. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Okay, see this guy looking at... He's doing a little shuffle. Talk to him. Hi! Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, 
Here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Bovine lava disco. Mm. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. <laughs> Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Um... Oh, there's no timer for these. That's cool. Well, I do need a repeater. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> All right, well. I'm actually going to keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cow. <laughs> Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. All right. Repeater. Oh, look at or take. I could look at it. I'm not going to take it. Hey, a redstone repeater. That's just what I need. Well... He said it was for his cows, so let's talk to you. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty, but some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, it's huge! It's bigger than huge. It's immense. It's a giant robot. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most <laughs> importantly, it'll totally nab me to spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Uh... Hey, ha, this rivalry's none of my business. Totally not Fine. my business. Just don't listen to anything he says. Let's just wander around. Let's look at this giant robot. Okay, did something, it walked just a little bit. Catapult. Oh, wait, did I say that right? Catapult? Oh my gosh, look at that thing! The cow just went zoom! <laughs> Can't help but notice you checking out my catapult, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. No, 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 no. Oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it, especially the ones that survive. Uh -oh. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> Little Roman was so scared, I wasn't going to do that to him. Oh, I could talk to someone. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. <laughs> be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown. But now, I am here, and the cows are a-flying! Uh... I'm curious. Oh, that might insult her. I need to ask about the repeater first. Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry, friend. Tapped out. No one has any. Why are you doing this to cows? Oh, spare me the false compassion. Deep down in all people, there lurks the overwhelming desire to throw cows. Admit it! 
<laughs> what? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not gonna use it. Definitely not. Oh, look at the cows. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. I wish I knew, too. Okay, well, I talked to Mabel. Oh, look, it's a chest, and... Oh, I'm gonna talk to an old man. Hi there. What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak yeah. up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Interesting. Cool. Theoretically. As long as they have a parachute. I mean, a parachute to make sure they land safely. Okay, repeater first. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry, none of those to spare. Oh my gosh, how come everyone's out of repeaters? Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Oh, thanks. Dust from a strange man. Cool. All right. Well, there's Olivia. But let's look at this chest first. Unless I could... No. He doesn't say anything. Wait. Look at... Maybe that guy has something I could use. Oh, it's his. Well, I don't really want to steal from him. Let's see if I could wander around a little first. Olivia... Oh, what's this? Oh man, he oh, he took the repeater. Why does everyone have to make this difficult? And these are levers to make probably it work. Oh, and it's another. Oh wait, wait, I don't want to use it because that's his machine. Auto farm? Oh, a little Reuben. Look at him. I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, no, I have. I have. What's this? Oh, it's, it's for the cow. Well, I kind of am out of options. Let me see if I could just open it. Oh, man. Stone. Jackpot. That's some nice stone. Still warm. Well, he didn't say anything. And I'm going to look at this. That's all. That's all you say. You say nothing. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. But I'm going to. It's not safe. Oh, oh no. no! Watch your language, Missy. <laughs> okay. What did I do? Ruben, I need some help from Ruben. Flying machine. Oh, look. A lever. I wonder what it does. Oh, hello, someone up there. Hello. Why, hey there. I'm Sandy, and what you see before you is the future. The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. Hmm, tell me about it. Flying machine, huh? Does it 
actually. You better believe it, but uh, only straight up for now. Any chance you've got a spare repeater? Please, 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 please. Sorry. Please. No dice. Oh, come on. Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then. I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Huh, yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. Don't mind. I'm totally terrified of them. And yet you wanna fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, you know what? I am not going to look at this lever because it probably lifts her up and I already, like, tinkered with that old man's machine and ruined it. <gasps> it's a chest! It's a chest! Oh, I can't do anything with it. Hello, someone. You must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. Hmm. Oh, please say you have a repeater. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Oh. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow-launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, Ooh. thanks. You have the components you need, now find a crafting table. Oh my gosh, it worked. I guess I should have. Wait, I didn't mess around with the cows, did I? All right, I need a crafting table and this is not a crafting table. This down here was a power source. Oh, Olivia. Hey. Have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. How do you make one? So, crafting a repeater, how do you do that? We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. Good thing I have that. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces, talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. Uh, you are just That's good. rare for me. <sighs> You're just as good as them, Olivia. Just be confident. Maybe. But thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, she didn't really like that. Maybe I should have done with the other option, saying that she can learn something. So Eligard's trying to make a command block in there? I know. I heard that too. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's no way we misheard her, right? Is that even possible? Can she make a command block? I wouldn't have thought so, but it is Eligard. As far as I'm concerned, she can do anything. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, well, you know what? I talked to Olivia and I got all the materials for the... whatchamacallit... to open the door. <laughs> And I'm just going to leave it off right here, and in the next video, I will look around for a crafting table and make the whatchamacallit to open the door, and then go see Eligard, and I hope I get my amulet back. Oh my gosh, that was probably the wrong thing to do. Alright, well, this is Player 2 with Hidden Level, and you were watching Minecraft The Ruben Chronicles. Thank you very much for joining me. I will talk to you later, guys. Bye!